So, Lebron brothers, all praises goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakan Kodash. The bonus goes into the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me the truth and much love, peace, and blessings goes out to all the hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, so, I'm the brother Amwan Abad from Great Millstone KC. I'm going to do this video basically to be about um, the effect to speak on uh, how. What's that group's name? One body in Yahow and Yahowish, I gotta put that in quotation marks, that they're building upon the foundation which Great Millstone has set. Because when you go into the scriptures, I mean this is very brief to the point. When you go into the scriptures, this is is, is disorder and it's not according to the foundation which the apostles laid in the holy scriptures. You know, and it's not according to the traditions even said till now. Because the brothers of Great Millstone, we make it um, a habit, if you will, or uh, what you could say, call it a, a, a guideline as to not preach in the areas where other other camps have preached. And the reason being, first and foremost, is because it's written in the Holy Scriptures that we're not supposed to do that. So that's really what separates Great Millstone from these other groups, because we f actually follow what's in the Holy Scriptures. And break it down and inform the people on what's going on. But you see about these other camps, they, they just can't get it. And you know why ultimately it is? It's because they're not really Yahweh Shai servants. They claim to believe in the Bible. Yeah, they got Bibles in their hands. They can go into, they, they'll read from the blue letter. They'll do X, Y, Z things. But they're not in the spirit because they do not follow this, this Bible to a T. And they don't have the Holy Spirit. Now, our brothers, are, are, as 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 individual men, are we guilty of uh, going off according to the scriptures? Yes, but as far as the doctrine, as far as the spirit that Great Millstone is in as a whole, we follow what the scriptures say. And that's really what it's about. You know, that's really is the bottom line of what determines who the spirit has set up and who hasn't. You know, so I'm going to just go straight to it. In the book of, what is it? First Corinthians 15 and 34. Matter of fact, it might be in Second Thessalonians 1 and 7. Let's give me a little bit of time because I got I got precepts lined up for this lesson. Yeah, this is in the book of Romans, chapter fifteen, and verse twenty. It says, "Yeah." Or yea, so have I strived to preach the gospel. And this is the Apostle Paul speaking. He fought to, to uh, preach the gospel because there are many resistant forces that try to oppose the word from being from going out. And the apostles from the Apostle Paul time until now has to deal with this, whether it be disorderly camps, you know, uh, security guards, brothers may have to face down and have to get us to move to a different area and stuff like that. You know, we deal with these opposing forces, ailments, things in the body. It says, uh, not where Hamashiach was named. So he did not preach where Mashiach was already named. That means whether, whether Paul was in the city of Thessalonica, whether he was in uh, uh, Antioch, whether he was in uh, different parts of, of Asia, Asia Minor. Paul even had trips to go all the way to Tarsus, which is in Spain. When he was in these different cities, he did not go to places where other people were preaching of Hamashiach and had different doctrines. You know why? Because that sows confusion. It says, uh, lest I should build upon another man's foundation, but that is, it is written to whom he was not spoken of, they shall see and they shall that have not heard shall understand. And that re basically represents the believers, the believers which were scattered across 
the earth that's they're getting this doctrine they're getting this word and now the fact that one body in Yahweh Shai is, is going to a camp spot that GMS previously was at, to me, that's that's signaling agent behavior. That's signaling trying to show confusion and discord in the minds of the believers. Because when you go into one body in Yahweh Shai's doctrine, they don't even teach what's written in the scriptures, man. They teach you that Yahweh Shai's miracles, he didn't even do any miracles. Like the the the... The dividing of the fish and the loaves upon a multitude. There was few loaves and few fish to not even feed that many people. But they say that that, that was that was a parable. Or him walking on water, that, that was a parable. It, it, that was a parable. It, it never happened. See, that that's the, that's the thing about it. So it's, it's spiritual why brothers have shook the dust from that place. And the Lord set up false prophets to go there is because a hey, heavy work has been done. The heavy lifting has been done. And the thing about it is no matter what type of uh, plans and, and thoughts of discord that these other camps have are trying to come against us, flag our videos, uh, try to get us off the corner, say you preaching here now. That doesn't stop anything because the word of the most high is going to go out regardless. Okay. Let's go to Second Thessalonians. What is it? Second Thessalonians three. It says, "Now we command you, brethren, in the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai, that ye withdraw yourselves from every brother that walketh disorderly, and not after the tradition which he received of us." So that's the thing. We don't associate ourselves with these other camps, be it ISUPK. IUIC, one body in Yahweh Shai, quote unquote, because they're not in the body of Yahweh Shai. Them, that, that group even the taught that, oh, you're not really, your focus shouldn't be waiting on Yahweh Shai. <laughs> Here it is, that's a part of these guys' name. That's part of their title is one body in Yahweh Shai, but their main focus is not Yahweh Shai. Hypocrites, that's what, that's what you call that. That's what they are, that's what they represent. Because on an outwardly, even in, in their name, they profess to to know and to worship and to be about the scriptures and, and, the, and the writings of the Lord. But they don't even get that. Did you not get what the Lord said? Uh, Wait ye therefore upon me until the day I rise upon the battle. What, what, what is this? Is that not written in the scriptures? So we're supposed to withdraw ourselves from these type of dudes, and we do, and that's why these type of videos go out. To, to rebuke this madness, man. It says, for yourselves, know how ye ought to follow us, for we behave not ourselves disorderly among you. So you don't see uh, GMS making rap videos. You know what I'm saying? We, we It's certain stuff that we don't do and don't put it on the camera or we don't do it. We don't do certain things amongst the brothers and believers. Why? Because the, the main focus is this, instilling what the scriptures is about. You see, and for these other camps, they proven that that, that is <laughs> that's that's not what they about. They at the path. You got ISUBK now. Got a, a a commercial out for the Passover, inviting people to come out and spend their money and shop with them over the Passover. When the Passover is supposed to be a solemn assembly. You see what I mean? So this is the scriptures where it goes into being disorderly, making merchandise of the truth, because. At the time of the Apostle Paul, he was it was churches that he was building and establishing, like the Corinthians. That was a church. Romans was the church in Rome he writ, uh, had had wrote to, right? So you had men that were among that church at that time eventually withdrew themselves or got kicked out, just like what's happening today. And then they start doing bug out shit, just like these other groups are today. Because you know what? A lot of the groups of Israelite camps that you see that are bugged out, that do, uh, you know, all this reprobate behavior, they are attached to one West. They are, all these camps go back to one West. And just like the town of Apostle Paul, bug outs, they, they went from us. They went from the main body, which is the real body of Yahweh Shai, and went to, to be about their own lust. Do you see what I mean? So that's why it's, it's incumbent to to not walk in the ways of these dudes. Because you know why? The end all be all is that Yahweh Shai is going to take vengeance on those, on certain people. 
So that's that's why it's important to 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 be to separate from these dudes. Just like uh Cora Dathan Aburam, right? The Lord said, All those that you better remove from, from these guys, because the Lord about to kill them. You see what I mean? Because we fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. That's the bottom line. This isn't about us or our name or anything like that. It's about the fear of the Lord. And this is what we do it for. Romans. Matter of fact, I think I got that already. So we could go to 1 Corinthians 15, 34. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 34. It says, Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of the Most High. I speak this to your shame. You see? So you're supposed to awake. Meaning you, you have to awake out of the the slumber you're in, awake to righteousness. Paul was stirring up the church. At this time, he was rebuking a certain false doctrine. You see what I mean? So awake to righteousness. You have to, you know, and if if this may go out to anybody, say it, say it, may it be, you know, one of the, 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 the people that are, are following one body at this time, you're supposed to awake and, and, and understand what these people, that these guys are wolves in sheep's clothing. Because there are some that don't have the knowledge of our Lord. They could read the same exact scriptures that we go into all day, but do they? Is it is it retained in them? Is it is it is it embedded in them? Because the scriptures speak about this truth being sealed into you, it's, it's sealed onto your spirit, and only the, the the spirit of the Lord can do that. The spirit of the Lord has to open your spirit up to get the understanding of this word and teach it. You it, otherwise, it's like picking up the Bible and reading it. It's like having uh, the, the whole ignition ripped out of your car. You could get in the car, you could, you know, fiddle with the, with the steering wheel. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit, this, 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 this book becomes meaningless. The Holy Spirit is the key that unlocks the understanding of the scriptures. And those that don't have our Lord's knowledge, they were not sealed with the spirit. Like like uh, one body in Howard Shai being the topic. They don't have the knowledge of the Lord. Because, I mean, the very fact they teaching on Great Millstone's foundation should, should show you that. Wherein has you seen Great Millstone do that? We haven't. I can personally say brothers in our camp haven't. I haven't seen any brothers in any other camp do that. You see what I mean? So, hey, these dudes ain't right. And if you don't have the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, you're going to be destroyed. Point blank, period. All these false camps, the, 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 the reaping season is coming, whether they believe it or not. Yahweh Shai is coming for vengeance and wrath. So that's why, you know, ultimately it's all spiritual. Ultimately, we can say all these things and, and do rebuke videos, which we do it because it's commanded of us. Like the scriptures talk about, uh, I think this is in 1 Timothy or 2 Timothy, repute, reprove, rebuke with all long suffering and doctrine. That's to the effect that the saints could be built up in their knowledge, but as far as who's going to be a reprobate and who's not, that's the Lord's decision. So these camps, they set up to draw others unto them that the Lord doesn't want. Like the, like Yahweh Shai said, um, uh, what do he say? If the blind lead the blind, both shall fall to the ditch. So the, the blind uh, leaders, that's what they're set up to do. We just, uh, the, brother, the brothers that are in the proper doctrine, we're just set up to uh, pluck the, the true sincere believers out the fire, you know? I'm doing a video, my man. So wait on that. Wait on that. Just go in the room. Go. So this is a sec the book of Sirach 7 and 17. It says, Humble thy soul greatly, for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire in worms. So humble, meek is, is synonymous. So that's why the Lord commanded you to, us to humble ourselves. Because in the flesh, the scriptures say knowledge puff it up. So when you get to learn in the scriptures, and it comes with a certain power. Honestly, the word empowers you as a man, as an individual. You get a certain status, if you will. If the word turns you manly. You got your nuts again. You feel You feel a certain way. You know what I'm saying? It's power knowing that your enemies would be destroyed. It's power in knowing that 
uh, spiritual powers are coming to the elect that we're going to be the kings we're the tr true kings of this universe of the earth under Yahweh Shai you know what I mean but you're supposed to humble yourself because that's a great deal that's it takes a great deal of humbling to fulfill our occupation because it's not just about being a king or boasting in what we have but it's humility because at the end of the day we're servants we serve the people in all that we do Meaning, taking time out to do these videos, humbling ourselves to whatever judgments the Lord put put upon us, the role that we have, our lot as as whatever office you have in this truth, it all takes humility from a leader to a foot soldier. So these Israelite camps that aren't showing humility, they obviously don't get the scripture because I'm gonna read it again. Humble thyself greatly. For the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worm. So that's what you're going to get. And you are looked at as ungodly in the eyes of the Lord when you're not humble. Because with pride comes, it basically comes sin. When you're prideful, you become a, a straight up sinner, man. In which we, we are all sinners, we go off. But the thing is, we do it, uh, I should say, uh, do it to be a subject to the flesh. But then when you, it's a, it's a spiritual thing. Once you are giving yourself over to that that mind frame of that no one can tell you anything. And that's a common theme with General Yohanna, with Nate of the IUIC, because they just they they lose their mind when when brothers say anything to them. They lose their mind when in in their eyes their character is defamed. So what is that pride? And then that leads them to just go full on head first full steam ahead train <laughs> train you know towards death because the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms worms happen worms arise in a dead body so you're gonna be put to death that's what the lord is saying fire because these nuclear missiles about to hit these niggas man you see what i mean so let's go to second thessalonians chapter one and verse seven Uh, this is the last scripture I'm going to get. It says, And you who are troubled west with us, when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, in flame and fire taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, who shall be punished with the everlasting destruction from the presence of, of the Lord and from the glory of his power, when he shall be come to be glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe, because our testimony among you was believed in that day. See, so vengeance is coming upon those that obey not the gospel of the Lord. So if you're saying Yahweh Shai's miracles <laughs> weren't literal, if you're saying you don't, we don't have to wait on Yahweh Shai, in X, Y, Z, these things that these, oh, the chariots are a hoax. That's what these niggas said. The chariots, the so-called UFOs, as Esau call them, they don't exist. That's just like Project Blue Beam or whatever. These guys, they fit the bill on destruction <laughs> that's going to come. You see what I mean? So that's why... The scriptures being brought out was about withdrawing yourself from these people, man. You know, because the, the vengeance of the Lord is gonna, not going to be nothing pretty. All right. So all praise goes to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, the Kakwadash, the Shalom.